I'm Jim Abney. I'm at the Black Powder Shooting Range at Geronimo, Camp Geronimo. Okay. What materials do you need for the station and where do you get them? We, are, we need black powder, we need uh, caps, we need patches, we need ramrods, we need guns, uh, we need eye and ear protection, um, we, need, we need coaches to help us run the, run the range, and we need NRA certified instructors before we can have a, a shooting on the range. How many guns and how many materi individual materials do you have? We have 21 black powder rifles. We bought 4,000 caps. We bought 3,500 black powder balls, 50 caliber, because that's what our guns are. We bought 3,500 patches. Uh, we had to have new speed loaders made out of aluminum. Uh, that we, we put the ball and the patch in and they're already preloaded that makes the range go faster. We can load the guns faster. We can get more young men, more boys through the range. And, and uh, if somebody was going to come and do this station again, where would they get all these materials, all the guns, everything like that? We have contacts. Uh, two years ago, we went to uh, the black powder manufacturer and he donated 20 pounds of black powder. We bought the balls at the uh, warehouse and they gave them to us basically at cost because everything is for Boy Scouts of America. The patches we bought from Sportsman and the caps we bought from Sportsman. A lot of this stuff is donated because it's for the young men of Boy Scouts of America. And what about the guns themselves? Where the guns we bought, they're, they're called a traditional black powder 50 caliber gun that we bought. Uh, they bought. They bought the guns before I was running the range, so I don't know what the cost was. But we bought 10 new guns this year, so it makes it go smoother to have better equipment to run the range with. So the guns are already there, okay. Yes. Um, how many staff members do you need to run the station? We need NRA's instructors. They're certified. We have to have at least one to run the range. We have uh, four of us that are NRA certified instructors to run the range, or Boy Scouts of America won't let us have this if they're not certified instructors. We have to have coaches. These are young men that help the, the other young men at the, we have seven stations. These coaches show them how to load the gun, how to put everything together, and then they are there to uh, make sure that everything is done safely when they fire the gun. So seven coaches plus plus bus NRA instructors plus people that are loading the speed loaders, putting the powder in the cap in the containers, so everything is already pre-measured. So we need how many people total do you think? We need about we need about 15 men and young men to run this range, so we can move everybody through the range as fast as we can. We have 700 700 boys and, and 300 leaders up here. So you have to have that many to be able to, to get, get people through the range so everybody gets a chance to shoot black powder. Okay. Um, the NRA certification, that's, uh, did you spend some time with the staff beforehand to train them on the, the black powder and everything like the that? The coaches, we had to have an NRA meeting to make sure they were, they understood exactly what they were to do before we got up here. It's one of the requirements the Boy Scouts of America makes us have before we can come up here and run the range. They have to have a meeting and have an NRA instructor go through the procedures and the safety procedures before they even get up here. Okay. And uh, besides the NRA certifications, any BSA certifications that you need along with it? Or is it just the NRA covers um, certification? Let me see. What does Boy Scouts of America require us? Um, no, not that I know of. I don't know if Boy Scouts of America has anything that we have to meet. Uh, we have to be registered leaders, and the boys are already registered. Uh, we have to follow BSA's procedures, uh, but specifically to run the range, I don't know of anything.
and um, do you give out any awards at the station and how do you know who to give them to and what are the awards? We have what's called the cultural run that will be run tomorrow. Tomorrow is Saturday. We'll run the cultural run. Each team will send their best shooter up here and then we'll put their name down and we'll know who our best shooter is. We're giving an award for the best shooter. <coughs> Excuse me. One award. one award, but the team of the best shooter, the best team will also get awards. One for the best shooter and one for the best team that shoots up here, they'll get an award also. And what is that award? What we've done is we've taken a speed loader and we've already preloaded it and put a hole through it with a, with a necklace around it. That's one of our awards. Uh, we went down to Sportsman, <coughs> excuse me, and Sportsman gave us a $25 certificate. So the top shooter will get a $25 certificate to Sportsman Warehouse. So we've got an award for individual, for the team, the best team shooters, the best top shooter. So those are the awards we'll give out. Thank you. Thank you.